Shortly before 7 o'clock Sunday night, police found the bullet-riddled body of a middle-aged Roland man lying outside his car near the intersection of Chennault Parkway and Highway 10 in West Little Rock. It was September 26, 1993, a day that Denise Hickman can recall like it was yesterday. I remember getting a phone call from my dad's widow saying that my father had been hurt, and I asked her what happened. She told me that he was dead, and then I just dropped the phone. Someone in a white Chevy pulled up to Jerry Parks' car and just started shooting. The occupant of the Chevrolet then fired approximately 10 shots based on the evidence we found at the scene. Hickman's dad was a private investigator and owner of a security company. He would have been turning 67 years old tomorrow. She was 26 when he was murdered. I didn't know what to believe. It was years later before I started having my own thoughts of who did it and why it was done. And if you do a search of Jerry Parks online, apparently a lot of other people have their own thoughts on who did it too. All stemming from the fact that Parks' security company supplied the guards at the 92 Clinton-Gore campaign headquarters in Little Rock. I don't believe in any of that. That's all. I don't know where it came from. don't know who made it up. I don't understand that, but none of that's true where my father's concerned. But the family can easily tune out the conspiracy theories. What they struggle with is the lack of information about the case from police. They do not return my calls. They don't return emails, so I, I don't know what's going on with the case, and I think as his daughter, I have a right to know what's going on with this case. But Little Rock police say it is a cold case, but not a closed case, and the investigation continues, which is why they have to remain tight-lipped on details, even to family members. The specifics of the case that, that gives away what happened in the murder that would help us solve the case, we don't like putting out there to anybody, uh, family included. Thirteen years after her father's murder, his widow's second husband, Dr. David Milstein, is found stabbed to death in his Baxter County home. In 2009, Milstein's stepson, Hickman's half-brother, Gary Parks, is arrested. Prosecutors say he confessed the murder to a friend. After days of testimony, evidence, and witnesses, his trial, which was just earlier this year, ended with a plea deal, first-degree murder instead of capital murder, and a 20-year sentence based on the agreement that he would share information about co-conspirators. If it'll bring justice to our fathers, then sometimes you just have to make a deal with the devil. You know, I don't really like it. I don't think he got enough time. I think he should serve life in prison. But if others will be brought to justice because of this plea, then, you know, I respect the judge's decision. Investigation. Pulaski County Prosecutor Larry Jegley agrees the attention surrounding so, the Mountain Home murder may help investigators in the Little Rock murder. I say it increases the temperature in the pressure cooker. Both prosecutors and police say they have reason to believe that justice will eventually be served. I just got to believe uh, that sooner or later we'll get the breaks we need and I'll have a case file on my desk and we'll be deciding what to do. Uh, we have the information nowadays, the technology that we didn't have 20 years ago and we, we as a cold case unit, we go back and we, we try to enter everything into the computer system and send it out to our crime lab who, who are very good. And I believe that we can solve any unsolved homicide. Hickman just hopes they're right. He died at 47. I'll be 47 soon. So, I mean, I just want it solved.